Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to be a spring haul because I have been doing some shopping and I wanted to share with you. I picked up a lot of really cute pieces. I only got stuff from two stores, Forever 21 and Urban, but I got a lot of stuff, so hopefully you guys are excited. I'm gonna try my best to try them on. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel. I don't do hauls too often, but if you'd like to see more, give this video a thumbs up and then I will know. But let's go ahead and jump in. So I wanted to start off with a pair of shoes and these are from Urban Outfitters. I'll start with the Urban Outfitters stuff and they are from this brand. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I wore these actually in Miami on the Dote photo shoot. If you guys don't know what Dote is, you can check out my last video. I kind of explained it a little bit more, but it's basically just an app that you can shop at a bunch of places on and do one checkout. It's really awesome. I have a profile and a contest going on. I think when you see this, it'll still be happening. So if you want to enter to win the $500 giveaway, then check out me on Dote. Check me out on Dope, not the other way around. <laughs> the link for that will be down below, but these are the shoes that I tried on. And I, first glance, I would have never chosen these for myself. And when I put them on, I'm like, I don't know. And then I like wore them a little bit and I was like, dang, these are comfy. So I decided to buy them for myself because I thought they'd be really cute for spring and summer. They're just little like wedge, little, they look like vacation shoes. I feel like these are what you wear in Hawaii or Mexico. And so I got them and they're really cute. They're a little pricey. Um, they're like a little bit over $100, but I will actually have links to everything in this video if I can find them in the description box so you guys can shop it easily. But yeah, got those shoes from Urban. They're kind of cute. Now the next thing is kind of funny because I actually just finished watching all of the seasons of Friends for the very first time. I've seen episodes here and there and people are really shocked when they hear I haven't seen it all the way through, but I honestly hadn't known a lot of the stuff that happened. So we watched it from beginning to end and I just finished it a couple days ago. So I decided that I was allowed to now purchase a Friends t-shirt. This one is just the one of the three gals and it's pink, it's super cute. I thought this would be good with um, a casual outfit with jeans and stuff and it's really soft. They're very overpriced but I really wanted it so I got it. <laughs> the next thing I picked up from Urban are these high-waisted bikini bottoms. They are so cute. They have like a little strappy design in the back. Super high-waisted. They're black obviously and I always look for this kind of stuff. Not only do I wear this to the beach when I actually want to use them as a swimsuit but I use these in dance as well because I don't really like dance bottoms and high-waisted bathing suit bottoms work just as good. So found these, thought they were really cute with the straps so I got that. And then the last thing I got from Urban I believe is this jumper and I I mentioned this on my Insta stories that I purchased this and I love it. It comes in like a charcoal gray color. I did see it in store, but I did purchase it online. It's like a jumper and it's like a cotton. It's like so soft and it does have pants. So it goes all the way down, but it has a little cutout in the stomach. I definitely could have sized down for this. I got um, a large and it's very big on me. So you can definitely size down, but this way I can throw it in the dryer and not worry about it, which is nice. But I just thought this would be a great travel outfit, especially for the summer or the spring when you just want to throw on a jean jacket and some cute shoes and go out the door. I love this kind of stuff and I'm so excited. I will probably buy more colors if I end up liking this and wearing it a ton, which I probably will. I have a Snix beside me and he keeps farting and kitty farts are the freaking worst. They smell so bad. Moving into the stuff that I got at Forever 21, the first thing I got were these sunglasses. You guys know my sunglass obsession. I saw these on the model and I thought they looked really cool. I thought they were gonna be a little bit bigger, but I do have a very round face, so that is probably why. But I don't have many in tortoise shell, so I really like these. And I love getting cheap sunglasses at Forever 21 and places like that, so I don't feel bad if I lose or scratch them. And then I also got this ear cuff, which I thought was cool. It was like on clearance, but I realized that you can only use it on one ear, so I would have to use it on this ear because that's the ear I have pierced which there's a lot going on on this ear so I kind of wish it was for the other ear but nonetheless that's what I got the next thing I got was actually the tank top I'm currently wearing this is just a white scoop neck pretty simple I also got this simple tee that has a little bit of a knot in front I believe it did come in black I wore this already so it's a little little worn but yeah it has a little knot and if you roll up the sleeves I thought it'd be cute with some high-waisted jeans again going into the spring and summer the next thing I have been eyeing on forever 21 for so freaking long I saw Sarah post about it and I think it's like a free people dupe or something I don't know but I've been having this like in my cart forever and I finally was like you know what just freaking buy it because you know you want it you know you're gonna love it and Cody was like what is this your seventh jean jacket I was like yes sir it is and I love all of them. So this is a jean jacket and it's all cool and fun and basic on the front, but then on the back, it's so pretty. It's full of sequins. It is like the most gorgeous thing ever. And I love jean jackets more than life itself. So this is so perfect for my collection. I'm obsessed. 
cannot wait to wear this and take a picture in it. I'm really happy to have that. Really happy brought her home. And moving on, I got a bathing suit top and it was funny because I actually placed an order that didn't go through and then I realized that I had ordered this twice. So I'm glad that didn't go through because then I would have had two of these and then that would have been awkward. But I actually got this to go with the high-waisted bathing suit bottoms from Urban because I didn't want to buy the top there. I wanted a cheaper top. So I got this mesh one bandeau. I thought it would be good for tanning. Although I hope you don't get like the little tan lines through the holes, that would be weird. I also picked up this shirt, which screams spring. This is kind of awkward and hard to show you, but this is just a tie-up top. It's like a white, like a cream with floral. It has kind of like baggier sleeves. Can you? Thank you. And it just ties in the front. This is going to be really hard. So hopefully in the try-on, you can see what this actually looks like. So cute. Again, probably going to wear with jeans. A couple of the random pieces I got are actually for costume pieces. So I got these, but I don't think I'll actually end up wearing these for a costume piece, but they're cute bathing suit bottoms anyway. They're just like a nudie pink with a tie up in the back. They seem a little bit too pink for what I need them for. So i um, probably just going to wear them because I don't think I can return them. Um, but I'm going to have to make sure I'm tan or else they're going to just look like I'm not wearing anything at all. And then I also got this bodysuit. This is such an interesting material. It's like a nude color, like a peachy nude. And it looks like this super stretchy has like a little cross in the back which is nice but yeah this material is so interesting I like it and then one of my favorite things I picked up is probably this again it's another bathing suit but I have a story behind this one this is actually the exact same as the green one that I own I'll insert pictures here and here so you guys can see what it looks like I wear this thing all the freaking time and people are always like oh where'd you get that because it's such a nice quality bathing suit but I always wear it as a bodysuit as well so it's a great little travel tip but they had it in pink so I got a pink one too and I'm so excited I just removed the boob pads that's what they're called, boob pads. I always remove them because they don't, I don't need them. They're kind of annoying. I did get a size bigger than I would normally and it's kind of a little bit baggy, but it's okay. It was the only one they had, but I'm so happy to have another one of these because I honestly wear that green one so much. So that was a good purchase. And then I also picked up these pants, which I've been seeing so, it, like, I'm getting ahead of myself and I can't really talk, but so many people have been wearing pants like this and when the weather gets warmer here, I'm definitely going to be styling them. They're basically just like flowy striped pants. They are flared. They have a little tie up. They are so cute and I actually got the tank top I'm wearing right now to go with them so I have the full outfit. And then I think the model on Forever 21 was wearing like red earrings or something. I'm not sure but it looked so good. Even the earrings I'm wearing would look really cute. I'm just really excited to have a different kind of vibe. And I think this will be good for an event or brunch or something. So I'm excited about those pants. And then the last clothing item I purchased is probably one of my favorite. I mean, they're all really good. Forever 21 is really good right now. But this is something that I wouldn't normally purchase. And I'm really happy I did. And again, just really excited to wear it. It is a, another jumper. But this one is kind of like a plaid, I guess you would call this. I'm not really sure, but it has plaid and floral on it. So it looks like this and again, it has that cutout in the stomach, but it has a big tie in the front. This is strapless, but it has ruching at the back and then it just goes down into straight pants. I think I'll probably have to wear these with heels just so it looks like proper, but it is so fancy looking and I'm so excited to wear this. I'm just really excited. It's so different and so very much out of my style comfort zone, but I think it'll be really fun for the spring. And the last couple things I have to share with you are accessories. They are two pairs of earrings. They're tassel earrings. We got a black pair. We got a white pair. Obviously, I like tassel earrings. So yeah, I didn't have a black pair, so I got those. And then I definitely did not think these would be as long as they are online. They weren't on a model or anything, but these are like pretty dang long. So they're statement earrings, and I'm definitely going to probably wear them with the striped pants and the white top. I think that'll look pretty good. So got those for the springtime never have too many tassel earrings but that pretty well wraps up my spring haul I hope you guys enjoyed it and found some new pieces to maybe put in your shopping cart I will have links to everything down below if they are still available and I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video have a great day bye